Federal Communications Commission, otherwise known as the FCC, is moving forward with plans to create a national three-digit suicide prevention hotline. The hotline would be 988. It would, yeah, go ahead. Well, just like 911, it's available to anyone suffering from a physical emergency. The FCC is hoping 988 could be a resource for those suffering from a mental health emergency. Yeah, this move comes as the U.S. is seeing the highest rate of suicide since World War II. NBC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joins us now with how this new line could be a line of hope to those who are suffering. Yeah, much like with physical emergencies, experts say when someone is experiencing a mental health crisis, every second counts. And so the FCC is hoping by making it a short three number hotline, they'll not only reach more people, but save more lives. As it is today, if you're having suicidal thoughts, the number to dial is 1-800-273-TALK. But Thursday, the FCC voted unanimously to proceed with plans to simplify it to just three digits. Seconds. Seconds can matter, minutes can matter, yeah. Having someone available immediately would help. Donald Tyson has spent the last six years working with the National Alliance of Mental Illness in Charlotte. He says mental illness can affect anybody. Suicide and mental health, don't, uh, mental uh, illness don't discriminate. Any, all economic levels, all races, all cultures are Im impacted by it. In fact, data shows suicides rising among teens, first responders, and farmers. In 2018, suicide, the number one cause of death among teens in North Carolina, ages 15 to 17. That same year, more first responders died by suicide than in the line of duty. And in rural communities, a study found that farm owners and workers were three to five times as likely to commit suicide than other professions. I think that it's going to help family members as well as people that have a mental health condition because family members know that there's a number that they can call. A number to call that's easy to remember, providing fast help and hopefully saving lives. The FCC says they've now opened the proposal for public comment and they say if given final approval, it will be about 18 months before 988 is rolled out. Reporting in Uptown, Ashley Daly, NBC Charlotte.